Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of how we can use synthetic division to find the roots of a polynomial. In this case, it's a third order polynomial. And again, what we're trying to do here is let's assume that the polynomial looks something like this. And you can see that there may be three places where the uh, graph crosses the x axis, and those are the x values that we're trying to find. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to guess as to what our first root might be. Um, so, we're going to try x equals 1. And then using synthetic division, we take the coefficients of the terms in our polynomial, which is a 1, a minus 12, a 46, 47, I said 46, but it's actually 47, and a minus 60. <clears throat> then we put our division symbol there, we put our root, our presumed root, and a line over here. And so the first thing we do here is drop the 1 down, then we go 1 times 1 is 1, we add those two together, we get minus 11. Minus 11 times 1 is minus 11. Add those together, we get a positive 36. 36 times 1 is 36. Add those together, you get minus 24. So, definitely not a root because we didn't get a 0 there. And let's assume that the value we get for y uh, would be kind of like here, where this would be a minus 24. And so what we're trying to do now is we're trying to zero into that root. So I'm going to try the next value. And so now we're going to try x equals 2. Again, we write down the coefficients. 1, negative 12, 47, and minus 60. Our division symbol. Here's the presumed root. Put the line down here. Drop the first value of 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Add those together, get minus 10. Minus 10 times 2 is minus 20. Add those together, we get 27. 27 times 2 is 54. Add those together, we get a minus 6. Now notice, we had a minus 24 here as a, as a remainder, now we have a minus 6, which means we're getting closer to the 0, which means we're now put, plug in a different value for x, and we get a value that is now much closer to the presumed root of a minus 6. And so it looks like we're going in the right direction. What we're trying to do here is trying to get a remainder of 0, and if I plug in a different number and I get closer to 0, that means I'm going in the right direction, which means maybe the next attempt, x equals 3, may just do it for us. All right, so we're going to try x equals 3. And again, we put on our coefficients, 1 minus 12, 47 minus 60, our division symbol, the presumed root. Put the line down here. First thing we do is drop the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Add those together, you get minus 9. Minus 9 times 3 is minus 27. Add those together, you get a positive 20. 20 times 3 is 60. Add those together, you get 0. Bingo! Zero remainder, which means we found our first root x equals 3, which presumed that when we take a new value, we now get right on top of the root. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here with synthetic division. We found our first root, which means that this can now be written as x minus 3, since the root is 3, <clears throat> times the remainder, and the coefficients of the remainder can be found over here, so it's times the value of 1x squared, minus 9x and plus 20. And then for the remainder, we could again use synthetic division, or in this case, we could probably just factor that. I, we might be able to find the other root, so this is equal to uh, x minus 3 times, and we then think we're going to get a product of two binomials. We start with an x and an x. We're looking for two numbers. When I add them together, I get minus 9. When I multiply, I get a positive 20. Oh, I think I need two negative numbers, and 4 and 5 look like they may just do it. So x minus 4 and x minus 5, which means the three roots are x equals 3, x equals 4, and x equals 5. So if I plug in either 3 or 4 or 5 into my function here, I will get 0 for y each time, indicating I have found the roots. And that's how you use synthetic vision to find roots of a polynomial to the third order. I'll show you a couple more examples, also one where there may be some missing terms and how to deal with it then as well.